Good evening, St. Thomas More family. It's Father Browning's weekly update. And this week we've got a few things to just bring your attention to that there'll be more information in the bulletin and such as well, uh, and in this flock note. So we have coming up on October 3rd, our day for uh, the 40 days for life, where we will pray from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, at the abortion clinic in Aurora. And so it's a very uh, important day to witness to life through prayer and our concern for those who are choosing that, uh, for the children, for the mothers and fathers. That prayer is very powerful. Uh, and so please uh, consider uh, helping us to fill those those times. So it'd be just spending an hour down there in prayer. There's usually a bunch of other people uh, with us as well, uh, just praying the rosary and quietly and uh, prayerfully witnessing to the respect for life in all forms and praying that the Lord will intervene and intercede uh, for those who are making that choice, that they uh, might have the courage to choose life. And so it's very important and uh, please prayerfully consider uh, signing up to cover one of those hours on October 3rd. Uh, October 1st, we have uh, our first raffle uh, ticket drawing, and so we'll live stream that for you, and uh, gonna be fun. So make sure you get your raffle tickets in. Again, that's a really uh, big fundraiser for us at the school, and uh, we've had a great participation so far, and if you're still waiting or haven't got yours in yet, please uh, send those to the office, and we'll take care of getting them over to the school. But it's a great way to continue to support our school and the children and their, all the families uh, that go here. So thank you for all those you ha who have. And uh, if anybody else would like to, please let us know. We'll help you uh, get some of those raffle tickets. Uh, September 24th, coming up uh, pretty soon, uh, is the uh, Catholic Curious. And so that's anyone um, who just wants to awaken a deeper uh, faith. Right. So maybe uh, it's been a while, but you're coming back to your faith and you want to just kind of get a refresher and go deeper into the meaning of our faith and what what all of it is. Uh, and or, you know, someone in your family or your friends who are curious about the Catholic faith and would like to learn more about it. It's a very um, easy way to kind of enter into that uh, kind of discovery of what is it. What does the Catholic faith look like? What is Christianity in general? And it's a, uh, it'll be over Zoom, so it'll be, that'll be something that can easily be done uh, for anybody. They can join us from anywhere in the country, and uh, it's a pretty exciting. And then we'll be running it from there. There'll be videos with uh, different priests of the diocese who are presenting uh, the different topics as we move through kind of awakening of the faith. That's what it's called, awaken. Uh, so if you're still thinking about that, please sign up. It'll be a great, uh, it'd be a great, great thing. And invite someone, invite someone that you may know who is curious about the faith. Uh, and then finally on October 2nd, uh, we celebrate the feast of the guardian angels. And I always think it's just important to kind of stress, uh, that each of us have a guardian angel and that that angel, uh, his goal is to help us get to heaven. And so to if you don't know it yet, or you don't pray it daily, uh, just to learn the little guardian angel prayer uh, and learn it as a family, teach your kids, uh, just a way of, of knowing that we have this friend that the Lord has given us who is powerful and mighty and desires to help us get to heaven and that we can pray for his uh, intercession, his protection and guidance in this life. So learn that uh, guardian angel prayer and, and pray that each day. Uh, I usually pray it in the morning when I wake up and I pray it in the evening before I go to bed. Uh, it's a great way to know that we have uh, a guardian angel who is powerful and mighty, who is looking out for us and helping us get to heaven. I hope you all have a blessed week and uh, God bless you.